Okay, are you ready for your turn? So what I do is I hold my breath underneath the water for 10 seconds and I do it like five to 10 times. <laughs> I can't hold my breath out while this. It feels like a thousand knives are stabbing me in my face. Okay, I'm about to change into real clothes and style my hair. So I have my robe on. I got a package off of Amazon. I got a couple of things and I'll share. But I got these cups. Nothing revolutionary. I'm sure you guys have seen these around. I just wanted... So I've had this style cup from Crate and Barrel for four years now, I think. I bought them when I first moved in together with Christian and they're right here. I have three of them. One of them broke and I don't know if you can see what they look like now. I've tried like hand washing them. We have a very good dishwasher pod. I've tried like scrubbing them, soaking them, but they just like look dirty and gross all the time. And I use them every single day. They're like my favorite cups, but they just never got to looking better and I've tried so many things and one broke so it's a set of three. So I'm thinking of getting rid of those and I got these which they're a little bit bigger but the same concept. I got these off Amazon. These are from Cream Barrel like I mentioned. They are affordable glasses. I just was looking for something kind of like the same style cup but I loved the lid feature. And they also come with their set of straws, which is nice. Um, they're a little bit taller of a straw, I want to say, than the ones that I have. So this is the one that I have, and this it's just like a little bit taller. But yeah, I really liked these. And obviously, you can use it without the lid. They have the same like beer can style top to it. And I don't know how easily these wash. You're probably supposed to hand wash the lids, but... Yeah, I can link them down below. I thought these were perfect for like coffee. Obviously on the go would be great. I know glass is not always great, but walking, smoothies, like quickly running out the door and pouring just any beverage in with the lid. Obviously it's not spill proof, but if it does shake, has the lid blocking it from spilling. Really excited about them. But yeah, if you guys have any tips on how to remove this, I have Googled it don't even know maybe it's just because i've had them for four years and just at a certain point they start to do this i don't know anyways i'm gonna wash these and put them in my cabinet i might have to rearrange my cabinet a little bit but yeah i will link them It is later. Feels like summertime here in Orlando. I know we need to be better about not just grabbing sweatshirts, but I go into an office every single day throughout the week and I wear like work clothes. So on the weekends, I tend to just be comfortable, especially if I'm at home, but it's 81 degrees outside. It's beautiful weather here. Spring is basically here and I'm in the mood for a smoothie. I'm gonna make a smoothie to match the weather and to match my mood of feeling like summer. So I just did a Target pickup order. I needed all new smoothie ingredients. I haven't made a smoothie in so long, but I've just been just craving it. On the weekends, I tend to, I'm very like, have my meals planned out all throughout the week, but on the weekends, I can kind of fall short on what I eat for lunch and I end up like snacking on a bunch of different stuff. So I want to be a little bit better about like choosing healthier, good for me snacks, especially on the weekend. So a smoothie is like a great snack option. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in my smoothies. I already have spinach, but I got two different types of fruit from Target. I got this one, it's the mixed fruit blend. Pineapple, strawberries, mango, and peaches. This sounded really good. So I think I'm gonna do this one. I wanted to do like a mango, pineapple, peach, banana one, but they were out of stock of that one. And then I also got this strawberry and banana blend, which is like a good, just like basic smoothie blend. I might pull out some bananas out of these, maybe like mix 
match them. Spinach, coconut water, kind of want like a tropical-ish one. Yogurt for protein. Ginger for just, you know, feeling feeling good. I love adding ginger to my smoothies. The only thing is, is like you will taste the ginger. So I always mix it with kind of like pineapple, mango, those types of fruits really kind of pair well with that ginger flavor. Next, I got coconut oil and chia seeds. When you are making smoothies at home with obviously fruits, um, they have fat soluble vitamins in them. So it's important to add like a healthy fat. People add avocados, you can totally add avocado. Um, I add just like the littlest bit of coconut oil. You don't need a ton to have that like healthy fat to help your body like break down and absorb those fat soluble vitamins that are in the fruits that you're eating. You could also do chia seeds. Um, they have a good amount of fat in them as well, as well as protein, fiber. So chia seeds are also a really good option too. That's what I'm gonna be adding into my smoothie. I'm gonna use my new cups that I got from Amazon with the lid, so I'm excited. I haven't brought out my blender in a while. I think it's on its like last, like I've had the blender for, I think like seven or eight years. But last time I used it, it was making this weird noise. So I'm crossing my fingers that it works today. I kind of tried it the other night when I wanted a smoothie and I was gonna buy ingredients. I tried it with ice and water and it worked fine. So we'll see if it works. I'm probably in the market for a new blender. So if you have any blender recommendations, I do not want to spend my money on a Vitamix. To be honest, they're so expensive. I, I don't even, I would have to have a smoothie every single day of my life to even justify buying that. But even then I probably wouldn't <laughs> justify. But um, if you have like a smoothie or what am I saying? If you have a blender recommendation, please leave it in the comments. Preferably would like one that's kind of on the quieter side. I know that's hard with blender, but I would prefer. I'm gonna take off the tripod so you guys can see. I'm gonna add, since I'm gonna flip it over this way, if you have like a standing blender that you just put everything in and you turn it on, I would do it the opposite way. Um, you wanna put like the heaviest object on top so it properly like weighs down and blends. Just a tip, maybe everyone already knows that. I'm not gonna use chia seeds today. If I was probably using this blend or like a blueberry blend, I'd probably use it. Not that it adds any flavor. I just don't want the texture of the chia seeds in there. Just gonna add the littlest bit, like that much. You don't need a lot. And coconut water. And maybe like three ice cubes. Flavors are so good. This is delicious. It is literally incredible. So it's later. I decided to wash our bed sheets and I go to turn on the dryer. And the dryer is not working. The knob has been weird for like a couple of months, I would say. It was acting weird kind of this morning, but it like went back to normal. It just like won't start clicking to where it's like on so you can start it, if that makes sense. So our bed sheets are literally wet. It's six o'clock. I don't expect them to dry by hanging them up. So I'm about to just take our wet laundry and my dad's house is really close. I was gonna go to my brother's house because he's closer and finish drying my bed sheets because I don't know what else to do. And I feel like it's silly to call the emergency maintenance line. Like it's not an emergency. I just don't know another option. I could go to the laundromat, but I'd rather go to my dad's house and sit in his home, you know, because it's an option. 
So I think I'm gonna go do that. It's just like my luck. Of course the dryer doesn't work and I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just decide to, I'll just wash the bed sheets today so I don't have to do it tomorrow. I was just doing all my laundry today so I didn't have to do it tomorrow, getting ahead. Cause I'm in like a productive mood. And then this happens. I've been like messing with it to try and get it to work. So I, this is my only option. So I'm heading to my dad's. Okay, I hope I don't have any food in my teeth. I just ate dinner. I got home a little bit ago from my dad's from drying my bed sheets in his dryer. So grateful that there's always an option, whether it's like family member or a laundromat close by in cases like this, my dryer all of a sudden decides to stop working. But the bed sheets are on the bed, they're clean, they're dry, they're good to go. I'm about to shower and get ready for bed. I placed an Amazon order last week and I got a couple things in the mail. And I did get a new self tanner, which is crazy of me to say because I've been using the same self tanner for over two and a half years. And it's my favorite. It's an express tan by Bally Body. And I never thought that I would stray away, but I'm running out. And I saw on Instagram, Brooke Michio. I've been following her for so long. She's like my comfort YouTuber. I don't know why. We're so different, we're so opposites. And she lives in New York, just a completely different life. But I just enjoy watching her. I don't know, sometimes it's really good to have people that you watch on YouTube where there's not this like, like I just feel not like safe, but I guess safe. Um, I don't feel like I'm comparing my life to hers or like we're just, I wouldn't want to live in New York. I just find it so interesting, her day-to-day -day life and things. It's just... She's just a great person that I don't compare myself to, if that makes sense. And it's always so important to watch people like that on YouTube or just follow on social media. But she posted uh, wearing the Bondi Sands self tanner and she looked so good. Her tan looked incredible. So I ordered it on Amazon and I think it's gonna be the self tanner that I'm going to wear for our engagement photos. We're taking engagement photos for obviously for us and probably these will be the photos that we'll use for our save the dates. I know we already had engagement photos taken, but the photos that we got taken were actually, what had happened if you haven't seen my Rosemary Beach vlog where we got engaged and everything, what had happened the day of us getting engaged is the photographer's camera wasn't working. So Christian, books a photographer to photograph the actual proposal and she said that in her years of doing photography it's never happened before she tried different sd cards things like her camera was not working so that's just what had happened and we ended up taking photos the next the following day and it worked out great we got to like pick out outfits that coordinated even though we kind of coordinated anyways like the original proposal day and all of our friends we got to take some photos with our friends we all coordinated outfits i can put like a photo example which we all don't plan this at all we all wore like black and white and we just got some great like group photos and it just turned out great and i wouldn't have it any other way we got photos of the actual proposal on an iPhone and it was just fine. Like I wouldn't go back and change anything. Um, our photographer that we booked for the wedding, she actually gifted us engagement photo shoot. So we're gonna go take engagement photos, which we probably would have booked them anyway with her. <laughs> but um, I'm so excited to work with her and have her work and have her photograph us. I'm so excited, she's incredible. What I was saying is, <laughs> I wanted my tan to be a little bit more natural and a little bit more different color than, not that the color self tanner that I was wearing wasn't like great or all or anything. I just always had to layer it with Lux Unfiltered because it never gave me like a good enough color. This is actually layered with Lux Unfiltered, um, but below this is a really nice, natural looking not that this doesn't look like kind of naturalish i feel like it kind of looks pretty natural on me i just wanted to experiment a little and i think i'm going to use that self tanner for the engagement photos and maybe moving forward i just don't like how it never really dries fully on my skin and the bally body one that i use 
dries like instantly it actually dries really fast so i want to look natural too for it i don't want to look orange in the photos so experimenting with salt tanner i got like a couple other things like those glasses and stuff but i also got these biodonts bio collagen real deep masks and they have probiotics hyaluronic acid and collagen hydrating pore minimizing and firming what's interesting about these is you're supposed to leave them on for three to four hours or you're supposed to sleep in them and i kind of wanted to test them out because i don't get any procedures done to my face i think i'm going to look into hydrofacials for the wedding but that wouldn't be for a couple of months but i just want to see if these will do anything like dramatic i obviously wouldn't do these every single night or every week but before engagement photos, before like a night out or an event or something, it'd be nice to use these and see if they work. It's supposed to literally make your skin look like glass when you wake up. So I kind of want to sleep in them. But I'm also like, what does Christian think in his head when I like try stuff like this? You know? Like, what will he think when I put this on? And I'm, like, literally sleeping there. Yeah, for optimal results, use this mask as an overnight treatment. Or leave it on for at least three to four hours. So, I think I'm going to try this and see. And keep you guys updated and see how it looks in the morning. It came in a pretty big pack. It came in with 16 masks. And I think it was pretty pricey it was like 60 bucks for 16 on amazon i can link them i don't know i've heard incredible things about them so i'm really excited to try anyways i'll let you guys know i'll keep you posted i'm gonna take off my jewelry i'm gonna get in the shower but i just wanted to share yeah i just i saw them on tiktok i think and i was just intrigued See if they work and i wanted to try them before i tried them for the engagement photos just to see just to do my research anyways i'm gonna get in the shower and i'm gonna put this on and uh, i guess i'll do a first impression of me putting it on but at the same time like i don't know if i want to put that on the internet with me wearing one of these masks so we'll see i just put eye drops in I feel like i can't see i also have my retainer in I wear my retainer every single night. I'm a freak about wearing my retainer. I'm gonna put this on. A lovely scar from picking my face. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep in this tonight, truthfully. I will keep you posted. I don't wanna keep talking though. So I don't want it to fall off or keep messing up. I look like a completely different person though with this on my face. I don't even recognize myself in the viewfinder. Well, let's go to bed. It's 7.23. I woke up at 6, but I just took the mask off. I slept in it throughout the whole night. I woke up at 1 and I realized it was at the 3 to 4 hour mark. It was actually at 4 hours. And I could have taken it off, but I wanted to get like the full effect of like sleeping with it on. And my skin looks very hydrated and glowy and I feel like I don't look as tired. I don't know if it has anything to do with this, but at the three to four hour mark, it was completely translucent. Like it looked like this. It didn't even look like I had a mask on my face because it literally blended in. So... I don't know if I kind of want to test it out and leave it on for like three to four hours and then take it off because it's not the most comfortable thing to sleep in. It does kind of like morph to your face, but you can still feel it on and up until it dries, you kind of have to lay on your back. I'm a back sleeper, so I have no problem sleeping on my back. It's actually how I fall asleep, but if you're not a back sleeper, I feel like you would hate this but i think my skin looks like really glowy and people in the reviews say that like the moisture and the hydration 
and the glowiness to your skin lasts for like days. I don't necessarily struggle with pores anymore just because I went on Accutane and I feel like my pores kind of, like I don't have oily skin anymore. I feel like my skin looks really good. I definitely want to try it again, but this is like my first impression of this mask. I think it did a pretty good job, but truthfully, I feel like you could only leave it on for like the three to four hours or until it turns translucent and that would be good enough. Truthfully, I don't think you need to leave it on for the whole entire night. Um, but then again, I don't know. So I kind of want to try it, just leaving it on for three to four hours. What I liked about it too is that you could like walk around, move around with it on. It didn't move or slide off. It was really cooling when I first put it on and really cooling when I was laying down. But I also had the fan running and the fan was hitting my face. But it just felt really nice on my skin. So I can link them down below if you want to try them for yourself. I believe they come in smaller packs as well so that's the update just wanted to update this morning i'm gonna make my coffee i'm gonna make my morning beverages then make my coffee and sit on the couch and wait for the sun to come up i was hoping that there'd be like a nice pretty sunrise but it's super overcast outside so but anyways i'm gonna make my coffee i cannot wait to have coffee Christian and I just got home from the grocery store. I'm about to start meal prepping. We're doing a new meal prep recipe this week. We got rotisserie chicken, and we're gonna do chicken salad, but a like Mexican style chicken salad. So I'm gonna cut these up. It's corn, taco seasoning, sour cream, Greek yogurt, lime, black beans, tomato, red onion, and we're gonna put it over jasmine rice, but you can eat it with chips whatever you want. And we got some avocados that were probably cut up day of. And then you also need cilantro, but that's in the fridge. So this is what we're gonna be doing for lunch meal prep. Okay, it looks a little gross, but does chicken salad never look like mush? <laughs> It's really good, so I'll link the recipe down below. We had it with a couple of these elote chips from Trader Joe's, so good. I think we're gonna keep it in this big bowl. I have lids for these and put it in the fridge and then throughout the week, just take what we want. And then I'm probably going to individually put the rice in individual containers because I'm probably gonna heat the rice up and then put this over the rice and then add the avocados last, so really good looks gross but I promise it's so good I just finished meal prepping and prepping the fruit for the week I feel really accomplished that was such a great meal prep you didn't really have to prep much especially if you're not eating it over rice the only thing I had to cook was the corn and that's it and obviously the rice but if you're just eating it over chip or eating it with chips so easy just prepping and pulling apart the chicken that's time consuming but you don't have to use like pots and pans or a ton of them might be like a new rotation in our lunch meal prep i'm always looking for new different lunch meal preps <laughs> because obviously eating the same thing over and over again can get very old very quick but i realized that i never updated you guys on the magic mind since i first tried it I think it was two weeks ago that I shared them originally and I've had one every week since then and I love personally incorporating these into my week more so my work week how I love to take these is on Thursdays Thursdays are my long long days I wake up at 4 45 to go to the gym and I work a full day come home and then I usually put on self tanner and sit and I edit YouTube videos for four hours and then I shower off my tan and I go to sleep. So it's a really long day for me and I am kind of locked into my computer all day. 
My job is me sitting at my desk all day. I don't move around a lot. I'm just staring at my three screens getting stuff done. So it's a really long day and it requires me to be focused all day. And with waking up really early to work out, I just feel like I need that extra boost. So that's when I love incorporating these in. And I notice such a difference compared to a second coffee as opposed to this. I am not so sensitive to one coffee a day, but I am sensitive to two coffees. I immediately feel like overstimulated, kind of just worn out, like hit with a bus type of feeling. It's not necessarily a good feeling, but when you sit at a desk all day or you have a ton of work to do, sometimes when you're dragging throughout the day or you're really tired, didn't get great sleep, been busy, you need that extra boost of caffeine or energy. And this is such a great alternative. Even if you're trying to cut out caffeine or just cut back, this is a great option. I do not feel overstimulated. I do feel like a burst of energy, but a good healthy energy, which is what they claim. And I definitely feel that. I'm way more focused. I get way more stuff done. And it's kind of a lot of the stuff that I push off on my to-do list. So it's those tasks that you really just don't wanna do and they're time consuming and you push them off. These, these help with those. So I definitely recommend, I feel like I'll always keep them in my fridge. Just really great for those long days or just those days where you need that extra boost. So definitely recommend, I will link them down below. Wanted to share again, because I knew I say, said I would update you guys on how I felt throughout the work week when taking them, but definitely notice a difference. Have adaptogens, it's matcha energy, um, good for immunity, they have vitamins, things like that in them. So I will link them down below.